Scientists are investigating the possibility of using aluminum as a potential alternative to lithium, now the most common component used in battery technology. Battery research has been an area of constant focus for electronic designers, both in developing quick charging systems for electric vehicles and portable electronic devices. Even though lithium and lead-based batteries have dominated the market for a considerable amount of time, it should be noted that these materials are prone to catching fire and might cause difficulties in sourcing. This is why scientists have recently brought aluminum to light as a contender for the production of batteries. But why use aluminum? Most batteries contain some amount of lithium, which can be produced by combining a few different chemicals and minerals, as well as lithium that is extracted from hard rock and brine reserves. However, the usefulness of lithium is severely limited when it's not combined with complementary minerals such as cobalt and phosphorus, both of which present difficulties in acquiring and producing. Meanwhile, aluminum is one of the metals found in the greatest abundance on Earth. In recent years, aluminum-based batteries might be superior to their lithium analogs in terms of cost-effectiveness, weight, and ease of acquisition. Many research organizations worldwide have been looking for ways to include aluminum in conventional battery manufacturing processes. Aluminum has demonstrated potential takeaways that entail energy storage and solid recharging capabilities in those experiments. For example, aluminum has four times the volumetric capacity of its lithium counterpart. If you drive an electric vehicle, the battery that powers it is almost certainly made of lithium ion. These batteries are renowned for their exceptionally long lifespans and rechargeability. The range of electric vehicles currently available on the market is impressive and charging stations are relatively easy to come by in many parts of the country. However, despite being the standard in the industry, many people believe that lithium-ion batteries still need to improve. Although lithium-ion batteries can be recycled, they do contain components that are dangerous to the environment. When there is a greater demand for batteries, there will inevitably be an increase in the amount of waste. Lithium-ion batteries have to be imported by nations with no lithium deposits. This is the case for India, which must rely on imports of batteries from other countries to continue manufacturing electric vehicles. To develop aluminum batteries, the Indian Oil Corporation is collaborating with the Israeli sustainable energy business Finergy. The production of these batteries would use natural minerals abundant in India. Although India does not have a vast lithium supply, the country does contain the components necessary to manufacture aluminum batteries. Creating batteries domestically rather than relying on imported supplies would be a massive step toward the electrification of vehicles in India. If prices were lowered, more people could afford electric vehicles in the country. Many people have great hope that India will be able to wean itself off its reliance on fuel soon. Currently, India is the third highest producer of carbon emissions in the world. The technology being tested in their aluminum batteries is cutting edge, and if it works, it has the potential to transform the battery industry completely. It is possible that the batteries will have a range substantially greater than that of even the best lithium-ion batteries if they're successful. Although automakers worldwide plan to invest as much as $500 billion or more to bring electric vehicles to market throughout the future decade, batteries remain the industry's weak link. Even though lithium-ion technology has made considerable strides forward in recent years, the industry still needs to grapple with insurmountable obstacles in cost, weight, range, and charging times. The holy grail of modern technology is a lighter and more affordable battery that can provide a longer range and charge quickly, similar to filling a gas tank. Most attention has been paid to developing better versions of the lithium technology. One example is the development of solid-state batteries, which replace the slurry of chemicals and traditional batteries with a solid or foam-like material. However, the development of further technologies, such as ultracapacitors, is currently underway. According to Graphene Manufacturing Group, aluminum-ion batteries may achieve a full charge 60 times quicker than the traditional lithium-ion batteries. GMG, which has its headquarters in Brisbane, Australia, recently announced that it has entered into a research partnership with the University of Queensland. If all goes according to plan, this partnership will result in GMG manufacturing graphene aluminum-ion batteries constructed using the technology pioneered by researchers at UQ. GMG will develop battery prototypes for various commercial applications, such as smartwatches, phones, laptops, grid storage, and electric vehicles. GMG has also inked a license agreement with UniQuest, the commercialization firm owned by the University of Queensland, as part of the new partnership. Through this agreement, GMG will have sole access to the production of graphene aluminum ion batteries. GMG claims that the batteries it is creating can charge up to 60 times quicker than the best lithium-ion alternatives that are now available. This indicates that a device such as an Apple iPhone, for instance, may receive a charge in as little as 10 seconds. 
Additionally, compared to conventional aluminum-based battery cells, the energy capacity of GMG's graphene aluminum ion batteries can hold three times as much power. This represents an improvement over any battery produced at this point. GMG believes the new battery is the most dependable, powerful, and rapid charging graphene aluminum ion battery currently being developed. Aluminum foil, aluminum chloride, ionic liquid, and urea are the components that make up the new batteries that GMG has developed. The availability of these materials is a distinct advantage over that of lithium. This results in a safer battery that charges more quickly and has a higher capacity for storing energy. Comparatively speaking, lithium-ion batteries take longer to charge than their aluminum-ion equivalents. This is because throughout the process of recharging and returning to the negative electrode in the battery, they trade three electrons for each ion that they encounter. During the process of charging, a single ion of lithium can go through the battery at a time. In addition, aluminum ions don't have a maximum permissible amperage, meaning they don't spontaneously overheat and don't need additional cooling to perform safely. On the other hand, lithium-ion battery packs used in electric vehicles typically consist of approximately 20% cooling components. Aluminum is non-toxic, even after being broken down, which is another reason why it's so widely used. In contrast to lithium, it's a resource that is easily accessible. This demonstrates that aluminum-ion batteries don't present the same challenges to the mining industry posed by rare earth metals as lithium-ion batteries. Compared to lithium-ion cells, aluminum-ion batteries have a significantly longer lifespan because aluminum is one of the most recyclable elements on the Earth. It can be purchased at a significantly lower cost than lithium. In 2005, a ton of lithium was approximately $1,460. Since then, this cost has skyrocketed to a current level of $13,000 per ton. At the same time, the price of a ton of aluminum only increased to $2,078 from its previous level of $1,730. Producing the battery requires the utilization of nanotechnology processes, the insertion of atoms of aluminum into the perforations present in graphene planes. The method entails boring one atom thick holes into the graphene and then storing the aluminum inside of these holes. Traditional methods of producing graphite result in a lower energy density in the battery cell compared to the one achieved by using the company's patented plasma technique, which results in graphene production. So what does the future hold for graphene-based aluminum ion batteries? Since the graphene-based aluminum ion batteries are a significant area of research for many of the world's leading institutions, the GMG UQ battery is competing against projects from several universities and institutions, including Cornell University, the University of Maryland, the European Alien Industrial Collaboration, and the Department of Polymer Science at Zhejiang University, amongst a few other institutions. In terms of the performance made public, the graphene aluminum ion cell that Stanford University is developing is currently holding second place. This cell has the potential to achieve an energy density of 41.2 watts per kilogram or 68.7 watt hours per kilogram. However, according to the testing, the GMG UQ cell can reach 700 watt per kilogram or 160 watt hours per kilogram. The blooming level of research in this area and the significant benefits available for graphene aluminum ion batteries point to an optimistic future for this technology. It has a strong chance of replacing lithium ion battery technology in the not too distant future. According to GMG's current plans, the company will release a graphene aluminum ion cell late in the year. This cell will target the smart devices and wearable market, which can charge to full capacity in less than one minute. The company aims to produce automotive pouch cells for the electric vehicle sector by 2024. GMG asserts that its technology can be adapted to fit within the housings now used for lithium-ion batteries in electric vehicles. This is significant since the life cycle of an automotive product can last several decades. That's all from this video. What do you think of the new aluminum-ion batteries? I hope you learned something new and enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.